in this video we are going to have a look on the insert statement whenever you will write an insert statement a new row will be added in the particular table so let's see practically how can we use this insert statement to add a new record so before getting started with the DML operations first of all let's understand the scenario and the structure of a table along with the constraints in the previous videos itself we have applied all these constraints in this particular table the primary key not null unique check constraint a uh, couple of unique constraints right now along with the foreign key reference integrity which I passed for the courses table and here I have these three courses in the courses table here I entered it manually but obviously when you would be doing it programmatically you will have to go for the queries and now we are going to do the DML things in that way itself so let's start working with that just uh, make sure that you know the structure of the table so here I can see the structure of the table in this way alright uh, you have to maintain all the constraints all the integrities which you have applied right now so insert is the thing which we are going to do into the target table that is in this case I'm going to insert in the TBL students now values and here you can start entering the values like that alright uh, if you are not going to pass any column list I'll show you how to do that so what you'll have to do you will have to follow the sequence of the columns in which you want to enter the value that is let's say first one is the student ID that is the 101 then first name which is mandatory so you cannot enter a null value right here you'll have to pass something and since it is where care in this single quotation you will enter a value let's say anadi last name it accepts a null so if you want you can accept a null as well if you want to enter the value you will have to enter in the same way all right you can do all these things in the one line only but just to make it more readable i am separating it in multiple lines so if i want to enter any data in the last name column i will pass this particular value in the single quotations but if I don't want to pass because I can pass a null value I will do it like that doesn't matter which is the data type null is having no data type alright so you can simply write a null and the null will be inserted in that particular column after that we have a email ID so let's enter something like anadi at tutorials point dot com mobile number just a random number 10 digit random number all right now gender in gender I passed a check constraint that it will either take M or F so if you will enter anything else it will give you an error similarly next is fees here so in fees I passed a constraint again a check constraint again where you cannot enter anything less than 500 so let's enter 1000 here and the course where I have passed the foreign key so you will have to enter a value which is existing in this particular table either 10 or 20 or 30 or a null alright so let's say I passed 20 so this is what makes my record complete and let's execute this one and it's executed right now let's write a select statement select asterisk from tbl underscore students and let's execute this one and you can see 101 another last name null email id is there mobile number is there gender fees and course what i entered all right now this is the way you can enter the values if you want to pass the null in multiple you can enter like that but if you don't want to pass the value or if you want to change the sequence or if you want to make the query more understandable you can write the list of columns right here as here you can get the list of all the columns so let's say I write it like student ID uh, email ID fees first name make sure you will not skip any column which is compulsory means where you cannot pass a null alright so student ID 
let's say I want to enter the values only in these five columns. In, now, when you are specifying the column names in any particular sequence, you will have to pass the value in that sequence only. So here I will do one more record like 30 is the course. Now email ID is something called Mahesh at gmail.com fees let's say 600 first name and the student ID 102 alright so let's execute that and here you can see whichever columns we neglected like last name mobile number gender all are having a null value into it alright so this is how you can enter the value through the insert command and whenever you will do that it will be a data manipulation language part so it will simply manipulate the data in a table it will add a new row in a table